Okay, so how do we know a battery is at the end of its life? One indicator could be that it's severely different compared to the other bad other cells. So this is 6S, you have one 3.5, the other's at 4. And the other one, of course, when you're flying it, suddenly it drops to uh, low. And it's actually because, for example, in this case, cell number 6 just drops. So let's try first to look at the... Uh, inner resistance of it so let's go to 2 amps okay so now you can see for some reason cell number six is quickly charging now there's something going on there with cell number six okay and now let's look at the inner resistance okay so it doesn't have enough um, time yet to show the differential of resistance so let's give it a little bit more time Okay, so right now we're about 3.9 versus the other 4. So in a balanced charging, all the cells 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is basically waiting until cell number 6 comes up to 4 before it starts charging other cells. But now let's look at the inner resistance. So this is a HOTA D6 Pro, so you can just look at the inner resistance. Everything 1, 2, and 3 is about 5, 5, 4. Okay, that's close enough. Cell number 5 is about 5. So cell number 4 is 2.9, but look at cell number 6, 54 milliohms. So basically what you're trying to find is one, of course, it acts differently from the others. But if one cell is more than 20 ohms, it's probably in trouble already. At 54 ohms, that is already a dead cell. So it's always good to monitor your battery. So this battery has been, you know, faithfully flown by me for about a year now and you know i'm not that good at taking of batteries but then again you do not want to follow the bad advice that i give but now for the good advice always monitor your cells stay safe happy flying